Hello, my name is Philip and welcome to this tutorial how to set up triggers in Jagged Lions Flashback Editor. So this is a new scene, all I have in here is a global light and a friendly spawn. So there are different types of triggers. Uh, in Under logic you'll find your trigger that you drag into the scene. On the right side you see that you have a few options. Um, can run it on sector load, you can run it on sector clear, on unit killed and so on. The trigger we're gonna try now is on zone enter and right now we don't have a zone so we'll go down to tau zone, drag in that one. You can also set the size of this zone. Uh, let's go with 5x5 five five. and now we need to connect these two and to do that, you have down in the right corner, linked zones, you change that value to 1. Then you grab the tile zone, drag drop it into the element 0. So, as you can see now, there is a green line in between, they are connected. So, when I go into this trigger zone, then I will run this effect script. And the effect I want to run right now is uh, notification.display trigger one. Uh, works. I want to run that once and it's enabled. So this should work but uh, I really want to see where this is in the game so I'll place these C4s just to mark it on, on, uh, in the game so I'll export that and let's start up the game copy that so as we can see our trigger is here here yeah and I step into it and it says trigger one works copy so that that works. The next thing we want to do is to make a second trigger box. And to do that we need another trigger connected to this one. So same thing as before, we set the size to 1. We drag in, see, it's this one. Uh, sorry, this one and it's connected so what I want to show you now is how we can link this together so when we step into this trigger we activate the possibility to, second to step into the second trigger and how to do that we have to change or set, the, set and check the memory of the game so saying that memory dot set Trigger one is now active. I can check this in the condition script that memory dot get trigger one active, then run this. So notification, I'm just gonna and change that to trigger two. Run only once. So what I've done here now is you have to step into trigger number one <coughs> in order to step into trigger number two. So we'll mark this one with ammo crates. I'm going to try to step into trigger number two before stepping into trigger number one and then back again to show that you, uh, you have to do it in the right order. Acknowledge. Acknowledge. So this Copy doesn't that. work. Roger. That works. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Here you. 
and now the second trigger works. Got it. So this is an easy example of how you can chain this tr these triggers together. And you can do it to update quests, you can do it to start dialogues, or get items, or progress the game in any way you want. Uh, it's up to you to be creative with what you can do. Uh, we are updating our scripting reference uh, all the time, so you will have new toys and triggers to play with. Hope you enjoy.